Okay, I'll just quickly show you how to hatch. Um, there is a hatch icon here, but instead of using icons and all that, just press Control Zero. Um, sorry, um, Control Zero. I nearly press Control O for open. Um, that gives you a bigger drawing area. <coughs> for hatch, just H and right click or H and enter. You'll get your hatch tool. Um, I'll choose pick points. And what pick points means is it'll select the inside of anywhere that you want to hatch. If I click in there, just press enter. Um, I'm, I can click the uh, pattern here and choose other patterns. Whatever, I'll choose that one. And also, it looks alright at the minute on the preview. Um, so let's just right click and uh, OK that. If I want to change that, just double click it <coughs> um, and change the scale if you like from one, let's say to five. It does it does vary a little on on what well, it varies on the scale that you use in in your uh, actual model. So you want to pay attention. If I click in this viewport, the scale you're using here should <coughs> more or less correspond to the scale you want to use in here. If you do want to change it for artistic purposes, you can, you know, but you don't need to tend, tend to stray too far. <coughs> so let's try um, another one, do another circle in here, or H enter, or H right click. You can choose um, a, annotative or associative, where if the, if the scale changes uh, in here, if you're using an annotative hatch, that'll change, uh, the distance between the lines will change to reflect the, the change in scale. So that's helpful, similar to annotative dimensions. Um, <coughs> you can choose whether it detects inner islands and borders and stuff like that. So that one's detected um, that there's an inner border here, uh, which is useful. Might not be the case, you might not want to do that. So I've deleted it and it's flood filled it. You'll be able to just experiment along and as you go. So usually, just to edit, double click, you can change the pattern in here, and uh, you know, change the scale and whatnot, whether it's annotative or not as well. Usual drill. Usually, hatching is on the its own layer. I'm just going to type LA enter. <coughs> I'll attack. I'll add a new layer. Um, call it hatch. Now, hatching you want it to print thin. Usually, use one of these grey colours. I'll use this one. Um, you want it to display differently as well. So what I'll do is on here, <coughs> I can put my ribbon back on if need be. I'll just type PR for properties. But on here I want to select in my home view, I want to put that on the hatch layer. So you can see it's a grey colour now. So dimensions are often red. Hatching is often a thin grey colour. Um, that looks look great when it's plotted. Um, th yeah, there you go. That's hatching.